I've heard it smells like semen. <laughs> I, 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 you know. What are they called? Um, like horny? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like it. I swear I'm not high. Free, Free the, the coochie. coochie. Free, Free the, the coochie. coochie. We brought in some amazing women to see if they agree with these viral health trends. Health trends? Oh, okay. Health trends? Interest I don't know any health trends. <laughs> I did not eat a double-double in my car. <laughs> I don't have a Snickers in my purse. <laughs> Vajazzing, vajazzling. I'm sorry, what? You bedazzle your vadoo This past weekend, I went to get a vaginal steam at this traditional oh all day Korean spa in New Jersey. Vaggie um, steam! A really amazing place, and first I have to Work. change. We're back shower, with this cat, we're back like with this. the vagina steams. And my face burns shower. for my regular steams, so my face! And now you wanna put my little girl on there? And I have to sit Lord. And trap the Why steam are you steaming and your vag? Why did they show us the steam? Was that like after she sat on it? I thought it was gonna say her vagina. I was like, that's too much. Yes! <laughs> yes! I was like, move. before, after. I am right, so Both sorry. Both beef pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would do this like only if I was like gonna f like Brad Pitt. Barack Obama or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a weird one in there. Uh, Bill Hader. Uh, <laughs> Tell us about your steam experience. Child, listen. Like the whole experience going in, you know, changing oh, your clothes. Oh, of course. Getting the of, tea. Of course. I just want to know why you just won't squat over a bowl at home for free. I mean, just put a tea kettle on and put straddle it. Ah! Vaginal steaming is an age-old natural remedy said to cleanse the vagina and uterus, regulate menstruation, and ease period cramps and bloating. After receiving high praise on Gwyneth Paltrow's website, Goop, the practice has surged in popularity. The vagina is one of the only organs that is self-cleaning. So when you add moisture to a place that already has a decent amount of moisture, you are asking for some form of yeast You've infection. basically created, changed your vagina to a Petri dish. Yeah. It eases cramps, like menstrual That's cramps. Yeah. Are you supposed to get it while you're bleeding? Are you like, like leaking? Are you Ew! Just, I don't think a little steam is <laughs> going to alleviate <laughs> nothing. Why did people make like, our vagina is like something that has to be like pretty good. I nice, mean, smells good, tastes yeah, good. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Let ever, my coochie be my coochie. Yeah, free, free the coochie. coochie. Free, free the coochie. coochie. Free, free the coochie. Yes. I'm only gonna say good because Auntie said it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, bad. Good. Oh sh. But that. Oh. Okay, I forget. It's vaginal thingy. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep showing. Oh. Damn, Ooh, that yeah. is the body I want. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, waist trainer. Oh, are these the sweating ones? No. This Lip. is insane. And I did this, and my skin is just sensitive. Broke out horribly. No, nope. Oh, <clears throat> that's bad. She has a waist trainer on the whole time. Oh wow. If that works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, don't beat yourself up. All you're doing is you're dehydrating yourself, first of all. And second of all, you don't get to just melt fat away from a particular place. You cannot Trust spot, me you on that. You can't treatment. spot treat. Like you have that expectation that you're gonna have what she has, and it's like, that's probably not realistic. True. I was 16 trying to wrap my stomach with saran wrap and Vaseline and was breaking out horribly, the sweating, could barely breathe during my workouts. It was so unhealthy. But is that good for your guts? I don't know. If you wear them without exercising your core muscles, you can literally atrophy your abdominal muscles. And I actually agree with you when you're talking about just going ahead and doing what works for you. But that worked for me. Let me tell you about it. I have this, um, nerve pain. You know what, let me get a waist trainer. I was doing it because the pressure was easier. But when I looked up, baby, we were bit by boop. I think it's just unhealthy expectations. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like, it's mm -hmm. making everyone feel like they have to have the same shape. Are they good or bad? Three, two, oh, one. She, oh. <laughs> She's ready. I was like, yes! <laughs> They're good. They're good? They're good with a healthy reason. Bad. <laughs> bad. Yeah. Just make sure if you are going to do any of these interesting things that sense. if it doesn't feel good, <laughs> stop. Here are three crystals to keep in your kitchen or exercise room for better health. Mm. Mm. Crystals. It can help alleviate this has been like a huge thing health. recently. Oh, okay. Help with depression, anxiety, and general well-being. Blood I have crystals I'm sure you do. Right now. I does not surprise me. I just don't think they do anything, but if it does okay. something for you, 
Uh, go for it. I am this weird. I am this way about it. I don't really care. My mom, she was a massage therapist, and she was also into Reiki, which is like chakra aligning. Like, like crystals do have certain energies that do align with certain things. I do believe in the power of crystals, for sure. And I have amethyst all around me. I've got all of them. Me, but I've got tiger's eye. I've got amethyst. It ain't me. I've got the damn, what's the pink one? What's the pink one? Rose I've got quartz. citrine. Right. I've got rose quartz. I've got them all. And I'm still broke. <laughs> I'm still depressed. <laughs> so it could be a little placebo, you know, but if it if it makes you feel better. But placebos work sometimes. Like, like even if you pray to a damn head of lettuce, if it makes you a nicer goddamn person yes. and makes you feel like your life is great, pray to the head of lettuce all damn day. If you're looking at that as a way to heal you, end of sentence, oop. If you're looking at that as like a boost, something, a little something, something to make you feel good, great. I like it. Good. Oh, we're in sync, yay! Of course. Khloe Kardashian's rumored weight loss secret slammed by doctors as drug supplies stall. There is a new uh, drug that is being rumored to be this. used all over Hollywood for weight loss. Which oh, is I know what this is. It's supposed to be an injection yes. for people who this? have diabetes. Diabetes. does cause weight loss. Mm -hmm. The fact that this oh. drug is yep. literally like in high demand, so much so that people who actually need the drug yeah, are not being able sucks. to get it is kind of insane. People are literally not having access to a drug that they need because people are out here thinking it'll make them lose weight. Actually need it's it. a larger group. And you can't stop taking it. Or you'll gain weight. <laughs> I can definitely speak to this drug because I use it. As a diabetic, I'm definitely against this for weight loss. I had to go off of it for some time and then when I tried to get it again, it was not readily available for me. So yeah, that is trash. It's a lazy way to do things. I don't know, I think it's a cheap way out. There's like a picture perfect image that Hollywood has always had yeah. of like a perfect woman. Bad now. Let the people who need the medicine get it. Yeah. That's bad. So bad. Why can't we just get fat and be happy? So I'm addicted to this. Oh, Dreamy no. Different. Collagen results so after 30 days. So I'm addicted to this. Um, what do you know about collagen? Not a damn thing. No. It's for your skin, right? Mm -hmm. It makes it squishy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hear collagen is is really, really great. I've never used it because um, I don't need to. Liquid collagen benefits include smoother and tighter skin, wrinkle prevention, shinier hair, stronger nails, and healthier joints. And some people say that liquid collagen supplements can help with weight loss and leaner muscle mass. Shut up. Wow. I did the, the powder. Disgusting. Oh, really? Would not recommend. Yeah. I drank it, like drinking it, and mm -hmm. I felt like my skin got better. Great. Yeah, but you're in your 20s. Your body doesn't stop producing its own collagen until after 25. Then after that fact, it slowly depletes. As we get older, we age. Embrace that yeah. These wrinkles mean wisdom, because you're still here. Mm. <gasps> These pictures are some bull yeah, because... no, the photo. See, the other one is like, oh. the lighting's up here, and the other one's the lighting's like a car, right here. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's not proven. I'll say bad. Yay! <laughs> if it makes you feel good, whatever. Do I think it actually does anything? Nah. Today, Alyssa and I are trying sea moss. She has well, a nice hair. hair. Oh, I yeah, know, right? Like, your oh, my God, skin, I your hair. It's good for immunity, your gut health. It's basically the best thing that you can put in your body. Oh, I saw this on like Shark Tank. Ours smells like black licorice. Black licorice is heinous. Let's start there. I like black licorice. You're wrong. Black licorice is disgusting, and if you like uh, it, you're a psychopath. I've heard it smells like semen. I, 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 you know. It kind of looks like it. I tried it myself. <laughs> Not the semen. There are many benefits of taking sea moss daily, including improved digestion, increased nutrient absorption. Additionally, taking the right amount of sea moss can help you avoid side effects like nausea and vomiting, similar to like ginger. A lot of this stuff is very supplemental, as in your exactly. diet is lacking something. Right. The white rapper guy. Oh, with Jack, oh, Jack Harlow? Him. He said he took it and it makes him. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Um, like a... Horny? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like it. Oh, it. oh aphrodisiac. Yeah, aphrodisiac. Mm. And he said it really works. And I, was I would like, like to be horny. Oh, horny as hell. I actually am a CMOS fan, especially after chemo. Mm -hmm. So after I did it. Oh, wow, chemo. Yeah. Girl. Oh my goodness. A year in remission. I'm so happy to be alive. Oh my god. Me personally, I definitely saw a difference in the way I felt from taking it. Nothing it's not is, bad. Nothing for is you. bad. It's just like it's not necessary. So I'm gonna go here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Maybe. I don't know. It's good. Yeah. 
How much does it cost? It's expensive. It's like, Never mind, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Will slugging break you out if you have acne prone skin? Let's oh, find out. Slugging. I'm currently breaking out, so hopefully this doesn't make what? it worse. For the next year, wow. apparently, oh, too much. Too much. Your too much. So what is happening? Oh. But he looked like he had good skin prior. Here. Can feel so hydrated, I like guys. slugging. What is slugging? Slugging it is you basically put a layer of it across your face to lock in whatever skincare you already have. But do you wake up with like a little ring around your pillowcase? Well, I sleep like a zombie, like a, like a vampire. Like My grandma told me the coconut oil. They put it in it broke me out horribly. Well, I think because like I'm a dumb <laughs> sometimes. Well, I want like results now, so like you'll do it every day, and then that's like really bad, right? Exactly what I was gonna say. Cause I'm a dumb <laughs> I do that too. A lot of people with, when they have skin issues, they think go harder. And this is like, no, 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 repair. Add moisture, mm -hmm. be gentler, mm -hmm. be softer. I just say bad because I don't think it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, good. If it works for you. Yeah, I think. It was bad for me. Sounds <laughs> funny. I'm gonna say good because Izzy said it was good. Okay, cool. That's Draco. Solid. Ha <laughs> ha Kegel exercise, she always do them. I like how she's dancing, holding a fart in your vagina. I'm working out right now. Yeah, we're getting our reps in. I hate that when you read it. I'm sure everyone did a little flex in their vagina. Probably. <laughs> oh. You're doing it now. <laughs> I cannot speak on the Kegels. Well, you've never done one? Oh, I am a pro. <laughs> she said. You do Kegel exercises and then you could do weights. So like you put like a ball up your vagina and then you do Kegel There's exercises weights. and it's a string and it has a weight, and then you do Kegel exercise and like lift it up and down, and supposedly it makes your sex life a lot better. I don't know how I know that. Do them, starting now. Now. Unless you want to be my age and accidentally pee yourself <gasps> out of sneeze. That was great. It's, yeah, it's fun, I mean. It's fun. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Sure. Yeah. Get, get your pelvic floor. Yep. Ripped. Keep it tight, keep it right. And if you are out there a lot, not out there, but like just, having a lot of entering in that. Yeah, you want to make sure you are strong because <laughs> are Kegels good or bad? That's what I need to know. Absolutely good. 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 This is my five to nine before my nine to five. The first thing I do when I wake up is make my bed and then I like to have a clean dishwasher before the day starts. So I go empty the dishwasher. This morning, Lexi and I were going for a walk. Cap. So I got dressed, I poured myself mm -hmm. coffee. Who lives no one like lives this? like this. Who lives like this? Oh, but I'm here for the aesthetics. Oh, I'm, I've seen this trend so much. I just continued to drink my coffee. Fair enough. Did my makeup and then got dressed and ready for the day. That's nice. Mm -hmm. This is what you want to live like and then. Yeah, just then we're all lazy pieces. Of we yeah. don't live like that, yeah. Five to nine to nine to five, that doesn't make sense to me. Exactly. Girl, you ain't got no kids or no damn animals. Yeah. Having a, a, some time for yourself to feel whatever you need to feel in the morning. 30 minutes. If it's five minutes, if it means you walk outside and you do some deep breaths and get that oxygen flowing and bend down and touch your toes and then you walk in and you write one thing you're grateful for down on a piece of paper, it, then that's great. It, it, it's unrealistic. Mm. It's trash. <laughs> as long as it's for you yeah. and it's not about productivity. Not being oh. productive. I don't think that should be a health mm. trend thing. You know, I think that's like mm. two separate mm -hmm. things. But this is like, men well, I mean, health trends, like mental health is important too. True, that is true. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> just wish there was a button that I could just press that would lift and tone my face. I have one. Yep, it's called a microcurrent facial. The gloves send electrical pulses into the skin oh, that will trigger never ATP seen this. production that helps improve cellular function oh, and improves oxygen and I don't know about the gloves. Levels. Basically, it's like a workout for the face. Can you see my oh, eyes twitching? Okay. I know, but it's uh, not yeah. painful at all. Uh, <laughs> I have no control. Uh, I can definitely see how this might rejuvenate the skin and might do some beautiful things, make it supple, but it look like it probably hurts though. It's not right permanent now. results. You're like done and you're like, this is the best thing ever. And then you get home a few hours later and you're like, that sucks. How much is it? I don't know. I'm sure <laughs> I would do uh, it, I would do it. For like $700. No, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> With the expectations that it's not going to change the structure of your face. If you can afford it. Wanna? 
Why not? Yeah. <laughs> what advice do you have for women who are constantly bombarded with new trends and practices concerning their health? You already know what to do. Eat healthier, you know, work out, go on a walk, just little things, but you're beautiful the way you are. You the biggest thing that helped me is aiming for body neutrality. Wanting to shoot for positivity is great, but being okay with being neutral is better. What helped for me is just learning to appreciate everything that my body can do, no matter how it looks. I mean, I have flabby arms that I don't like, but I've been told I give great hugs. You do. If you're constantly being bombarded with trends and it's stressing you out, maybe take a break from social media. But mm -hmm. if you're into it, if you think that'll make you feel so much better, you know, go for it, try some out. Not yeah. all of them seem awful. Be and love you as you are. Mmm! Thanks for watching this episode. What are health trends that you love? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.